Hello, my beautiful thinking people. It's your host, Clyde Phillips Sr. from Advocation X, coming at you. And I'd just like to uh, cap off a topic that uh, we started a while ago. We have some new information coming in on it. So before I continue, hit the like button, subscribe, become a member, and uh, let's push this thing past the algorithm, okay? So that more people can get to hear the messages that have been flowing quite frequently from Advocation X. Did you hit the like button? Did you subscribe? If all of you that were watching this channel actually hit the subscribe and the like button, we would probably reach five times the people we're reaching now, and that would grow exponentially every single month. So, come on folks, hit that like button, subscribe. Become a member if you can. Let's move this into the future. Let's get into it right now. Elon Musk, as you know, has been working for free for quite some time now because one shareholder with nine shares decided to bring on board a greedy law firm that wants to go after Tesla for billions of dollars because they voted to pay Elon Musk for the great work he's done and how he has brought the share price up and up and up. As you know, there have been many, many uh, stock splits that allowed the stock to remain affordable for those of us who wish to accumulate. So just a quick recap. This shareholder brought a motion to the court in Delaware. And of course, Delaware is going to be a shrinking concern from now on because Elon Musk decided to tell everyone, don't incorporate in Delaware because this is what Delaware can do to you. Your shareholders can vote to give you a paycheck, and then the Delaware court can decide, nah, we don't think it's fair, and we're going to take that paycheck away from you. Interesting, isn't it? You were voted a paycheck in 2018, and in 2024, they take the paycheck away from you. Is that a place you want to incorporate, or would you like to look for some other place that might have fair capabilities? laws that stop the court from just robbing you of your paycheck after years of work. It's not as if the motion was brought right away and they said, well, hold on a second, you're going to have to stay at your, your previous compensation package until we get this sorted out in a court of law where we can all of a sudden believe, come to an agreement that uh, you're getting a fair shake for your work. No, instead, wait five years, keep this thing in litigation for years, and then at the end of it say, oh, by the way, we've decided we're taking it away from you. You've just worked for free. Ha ha. Okay, so that's the scenario that we're up against. So what's happened now, new information that's just come out, is that the plaintiff's lawyers and Tesla's lawyers have come to an arrangement where they're going to submit a joint letter to the judge saying we want to stay of the fees in lieu of the appeal which is coming. As we knew it would have to be appealed because that is kind of bordering on unconstitutional behavior on the judge's part. Some of the things implied in the judge's decision show that the judge is extremely biased and uh, was the same judge who forced Elon to buy Twitter, even though new information surfaced that Twitter was not worth what they had originally been discussing. And Elon wanted to renegotiate that based on the fact that the bots were prevalent all across the Twitter platform, uh, but this judge said, nope, you're buying it. And now the judge has done another dirty to Elon by doing this. But with the joint submission from both the uh, plaintiff and the defendant, it looks like they're going to get a stay on that. They're going to get the appeal. But remember, it's with the Delaware courts. And who is the big boss of Delaware? That's correct, Mr. J.B. Joe Biden. And as we know, Joe Biden has also expressed displeasure in a subtle way with Elon Musk, Tesla, and all of his companies. So what's going to happen now? We have to rely on an independent judicial system in the appeals court 
to look at things objectively and say, this was wrong. The judge proceeded in a wrong manner. The judge had preconceived biases, and we're going to reverse their decision. If that happens, then at least Tesla will not have to pay all of those legal fees. But I'm sure that Tesla, even though the appeal is going to come, is probably going to compensate the opposing legal team for some of their time because he likes to be fair. Not because he has to, because if he wins the appeal, all bets are off. But he has to put up the entire amount or a negotiated amount of billions in order to make sure that they would be compensated in the event that they lose the appeal. So that's the uh, present situation coming up. I also have another topic which will follow this video, which is extremely sad, and uh, I hope you're all going to be able to deal with it. Once again, I'd say hit the like button, subscribe, become a member, and remember, we never give up. We never give in, but we keep an open mind because that's how we gather knowledge, and knowledge is the only power we will ever possess. Remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and above all else, stay as happy as humanly possible. And until next time, love you all. Bye for now.